exciting. Uh, my son has a little Christmas Eve box here for him to open. I shall try and persuade him to let me put it on film, but don't bet Frank on it because he really doesn't like being on film. Um, but yeah, he's just got a few lovely things waiting for him. And this is book number 24. And today this is a hardback. It's a nice big hardback. I have no idea what this book is. So let's open this one up. Okay, are you ready to look inside for the very final book in this Christmas movie advent? Oh, and I can't get into it. Building up the suspense. Okay. This one's called Woven in Moonlight by Isabel Ibanez. Ibanez. Look at that beautiful cover. That looks very exciting. Again, this is a book I know absolutely nothing about at all. Um, let's see if we can see what it's about. So on the back, there are just lots of um, things from other authors and from from newspapers, etc. So from the New York Times bestselling author, Margaret Rogerson, she says, A lush, vibrant feast of a book set in a world as colourful and inventive as the fierce heroine's magical tapestries. I could live, I could have remained lost in these pages forever. Uh, someone else says, a spellbinding, vivid debut, plot twists abound and the magic is uniquely drawn and intrigue illuminates the pages. The world of Inkasisa, Inkasisa is so beautifully rendered, I never want to leave it. So it sounds like it's going to be a bit of a romance and a bit magical. So yeah, sounds like my kind of book, but the cover is absolutely beautiful. I think there are some names in there that I'm going to find hard to pronounce. Um, there's one X-I-M-E-N-A, which I'm assuming is Zimina. I don't know. So we shall see. So our movie of Christmas Eve every single year since it first came out is Arthur Christmas. To us, every time we see, um, you know, the advert or anything like that for Arthur Christmas, it just makes us feel so Christmassy and so Christmas Eve. -y. So, yeah, on the afternoon, we're going to have hot chocolate and snacks and snuggle down with blankets and watch Arthur Christmas. And we'll do that once it gets dark because we like it to be atmospheric and, you know, twinkling lights and the, the whole shebang. We'll get the fire lit as well. And, yeah, we shall do that. I hope that you have a beautiful, beautiful Christmas and that you've got lovely things planned, whether that's with family or by yourself, and that you have an absolutely lovely time. And I shall see you again after Christmas. Merry Christmas to all of you. Bye bye.